Teaching your kids about science can be easy and fun, and all it takes is a few batteries and a few other odds and ends. That's fine. It's time to play with electricity. I'm excited about this. Kitchen pantry scientist Liz Heineke is here <laughs> with some fun experience, uh, experiments you can do with your kids. Liz, thanks for coming in. Yeah, so keep them away from the sockets and keep them away from the direct sockets. them to the okay. batteries and aluminum foil. Very safe, too. Reasonable. Yeah, so the first experiment that I'm going to show you guys is fun. Okay. It shows kids sort of something about completing a circuit. So okay. if they have a battery, you know, a big you have old D or C battery. Battery, These are D matter. batteries. It works right. with C batteries okay. too. But first, you can have them sort of tape foil going across to either end. Okay. Sure. And they can feel how it gets warm. You're completing the circuit. So Electrons are flowing. So I can go ahead and just so do it. These? You could do that. Okay. Right. So, so that's the first step. Ow! <laughs> it actually, it actually it does, does up, get warm. Yeah. It is pretty warm. Okay. But the next step is to give them an LED battery in either one or two strips of aluminum foil and see if they can complete so the like circuit to light it up. Christmas light kind of thing. I just pulled okay. these off our old Christmas lights. Right. Yep. Pulled out the the wires. So you can do it like that? Yep. You can do it like that to feel warm. Then you can connect the little wires on the bulb. I don't know if you can see this. Can you see it lighting up? Yes. To the foil. So cool. It completes the circuit and the light bulb will actually light up. Nice. Very fun. fun. Okay, so that's one fun one. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'll help you with that afterwards, Jason. Oh. <laughs> I can see you're having a little trouble. The science okay. is very confusing. You gotta you get it. Oh, yeah, yeah. There we go. I see. There you go. All right. All right. There. there. See a little light? We nice. Did it. All, All right. right. Cool okay, dim, so maybe you can work it's on it. Just like me, a dim bulb. It's fine. It's fine. So electromagnets are easy to make at home with I did have to go to the hardware store to get doorbell wire, but it's available at all sure. hardware okay. stores. This is actually cool. I found out this morning this is how doorbells work. They actually use magnetism to move a piece of metal to clang the bell. Huh. That's cool. So, I didn't know that. Doorbell wire, a nail. Now, nails okay. are normally not magnetic, correct? Correct. correct. Magnetic. You can test this with a compass. Well, that. This oh, one is a little magnetized, is magnetized from our <laughs> trip in. But you can see that with a regular nail, I cannot pick up these paper clips, yeah. right? If I wrap a wire, doorbell wire, around the nail, so electricity and magnetism are tightly, are very related, we actually can make the electrons flow through the nail and magnetize the, mail, the nail so that, this is pretty sweet, kids love doing this, it doesn't even have to be connected, so that the nail becomes oh. magnetic and you can pick up Things like and so the science clips. is just the electrons in the battery. The electrons in the battery flow through the wire around the nail and they actually make sort of make the electrons in the nail line up huh. so they form a magnetic field. That is in really the nail. That's fun. Cool. Isn't so, that cool? And there's no worry when you're like it's okay for kids to be playing with the batteries. Yes, the batteries can get a little warm, so just okay. warn them they can get a little hot. If they get hot and if, you'll notice if you leave these connected the battery will actually get hot. Yeah. So disconnect everything when you're done. But it's, um, it's a lot of fun, and it's cool just to let kids play with completing circuits. Another thing they can do, and, and let them mess around with it until they get it. They can try different widths of aluminum foil. Oh, Another thing you can do is give them a light bulb and just one strip of foil and see if they can complete the circuit. Out. Yeah, try to figure it out oh. with just one piece of foil. So cool. you can, it teaches science at home, yeah. teaches kids to be creative. Experiment. Experiment. And yeah. It's fun. And it's fun. Yeah, it's Very awesome. Very good. Liz's experiments, tons of them at kitchenpantryscientist.com. Just go to wcco.com slash links and we'll get you there. Thank